Hey everyone, welcome back to another video of Until Dawn, and another video of me being scared shitless. Now let's do this. Oh, lovely. Hello again. Things are getting pretty tense up there, aren't they? Uh, just a tad. Is the night going the way you hoped it would? Uh, no, it's not. <clears throat> I see. And you think that these poor people are getting what they deserve? What do you want? I'm trying to help you. And this game you're playing. You understand that it's not good for you, it's not good for anyone. And I can't say that you're showing much loyalty in the way you're playing. I'm, I'm trying to be fair with everybody, but, you know, it's not easy. Are you ten? Right, you're freaking me out now. Do you even believe that I am real? Uh, you don't exist. Oh. The heart of the problem, it all comes down to this. Can you really tell the difference anymore? Uh, not really. Our one way ticket to the spirit realm. I've just been through enough spooking for one night, okay? I see a hot bath in my crystal ball. So have fun. Why would you do this? this oh, 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 Jessica! Oh my god! Oh my god! Shit! There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? Oh, that's the sanatorium. Right, so five dread, six hours until dawn. So we're still playing his mic. or something there. Damn it. Yeah. Alright. Let's get a closer look. Hey, come on, this can't be good. Going in this sanatorium. Anything about here? Like a creepy totem or anything? I'm going to have to find out where all of them are and... If I've missed any in this playthrough, I'll I'll probably do a video and show where they're all where they all are located. So if anyone's playing this, they can find them all. Can't seem to see anything about here. Nothing that's flashing. So 
Let's go on in. Oh, that's flashed over there. What does that say? Condemned. Why wouldn't I end up in the creepiest place on planet Earth? It is deemed unlawful for any person to use or occupy the structure forthwith. Date June 12th, 1954. That was 1954, the date is on this thing. Yeah. No, it's 1952. So obviously, two years after that. Whatever that is that's happened. Alright, so let's go in here. I thought it was going to be locked or something. So it's locked. So I obviously need some sort of key card or something. Is there a wee way through here, the side? No. Anything here? Let's see. I can't see any flashing, so it doesn't look like there's anything on the ground like a key card to look at, so let's go through the admin office or admin bit. Oh, there's something flashing over here. Oh, a camera. broken camera and what's that for oh that's the 1952 the lens on this camera is smashed it looks like someone did this on purpose right right there's not not nice noises coming around this place yeah. Nothing around here except that camera. What about is this a. Is this got a doorway on it? I can't seem to turn the camera that way to see. No. Doesn't look like there's a way forward, so let's go through this door here into the morgue. Shit. Oh shit. Oh, there's something there. Oh, newspaper. Huh. Intrigue on Blackwood Mountain. The Alberta Post, 9th of January 1952. Reporter assaulted on Blackwood Mountain. Blackwood Pines AB, a reporter from Alberta, but uh Bugle was assaulted and hospitalized yesterday by the security personnel at the Blackwood Sanatorium Chuck Bernstein. A senior news reporter was seeking an interview with the miners dramatically rescued on Tuesday. The men had been trapped underground for over three weeks after a structural collapse at the Northwest Mine in December and now are and are now being treated at Blackwood Sanatorium for malnutrition and, and malnutrition and trauma. 
Jefferson Bragg, sole proprietor of the Northwest Mining Company and the Blackwood Sanatorium told the Bugle yesterday that the incident was unfortunate and that a full internal inquiry have been launched. He has, oh, sorry, he also claimed that Bernstein has not been trespassing on sanatorium grounds without permission, that, sorry, that Bernstein had been trespassing on sanatorium grounds without permission. It's believed that the assault arose from an argument about Bernstein's camera which was confiscated immediately prior to the attack. So that goes along with the... Uh, I click on this now and go to this one. This has been updated now. Update, this must be the camera mentioned in the newspaper article. Someone really didn't want these pictures getting out. And then the newspaper. Right. So, anything else in here? Doesn't look like there's anything else in here. So we must have to go around the corner now. Oh shit. Oh shit. Do not like the look of this place one fucking bit. There's something over here. Oh. Minor medical report. Atten attending physician N Dr. N F N H F Bowen. Medical report. Report follows RE the initial state of the twelve miners after the collapse of the mine and subsequent rescue at Blackwood Pines admittance. On recip on receipt of the twelve patients at the sanatorium's medical facility. We had fully expected to find ema emaciate emaciated shells of men starved and confused. Thankfully, the miners appear co co cognate and relatively healthy, at attributed to their apparent discovery of the emergency food supplies in the mine inhabited respiratory function was detected in a few of the older men as predicted, as well as symptoms of pneumonia. Psychologically, after being trapped for 23 days, the shock of reintegration has been difficult for some of the group. Though their outward health is better than expected, they do seem affected by their time in the mine treatment. Due to the delicate nature of some of the patients, we have closed off the A-wing of the sanatorium. Psychological evaluations will take place as soon as possible. The men with resp respiratory problems have undergone a uh, Bronchos huh, bronchoscopy and they are prescribed a course of streptomycin. The others are simply kept under strict 24 hour observation. Signed Dr. Nicholas Henry Fowlis Bowen. Right. I wonder is there anything on the back of that? I wonder. There's normally something on the back of these things. Ah, there we go. One of these guys actually tried to bite me. I'm going to report it to Dr. Bowen. Right, so that must be another one under the 1952. Yeah. Oh, we're starting to collect up some of the clues. So there was obviously a collapse in the mine. Shit. Oh shit. Where we're going deeper and deeper into the belly of the dragon. What is that? Got a machete now. Right, anything else clue wise kicking about in here?
Ooh, 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 shit. I just saw one of the fucking wolves' shadows. Oh shit, I don't want to go that way. Uh, fuck. I think I kind of have to go that way, don't I? Oh, shit. Yep, looks like I have to go that way anyway. God damn it. Let's try out this way first. Oh. Repi reply immediately, reporters and other snoopers to be kept away at all costs. Oh, so there's a telegram. Gee, who wouldn't want press snooping around this paradise? To Mr. J. Bragg, incident update. 12 survivors received the sanatorium. Stop. Showing signs of medical, me mental trauma may need, you, may need to contain. Stop. Local press now have scent of blood. Stop. Becoming a problem. Stop. Please advise further. That's a telegram. Right, so... Nothing in here. We're gonna have to go through to where the wolves are. Oh, shit. Shit, fuck. Shit, shit. Fuck, fuck. Hmm. Hey. Nope, nothing here to look at. I see we just been in that room. Oh, there's a wee room here. Oh, shit, mouse. Huh? So there's a chair. How do I get into that chair? Right, is there something that I can use to climb on or something to get there? Like maybe that door or something? No. Nope. So how am I meant to get to that, that electrical chair or... Medical chair or something. How am I meant to get to that? Is there a way out of this other room here? Let's go back and have a look at the- Oh, fucking hell. A skeleton just popped into the side view there. Shat was out. Alright, so there's no way from here to get through. No. Damn it. How am I meant to get through to that other room? Is there a way through this way? Oh! No, that's alright, that's just one of those loading screen things pop up. There must be another doorway somewhere that I've missed to get to that. Oh! Oh, what's that? Uh oh. Uh oh. That's the chair I was looking for. Holy shit. A restraining oh. chair. What happened here? Twisted fuckers like the watch, I guess. Right, so nothing else special about that chair other than I think it's just a quick clue, I think. Yeah. Oh, so there's an updated one here. So update. According to the telegram, the owners were trying to cover this up. Okay. The chair with leather straps to restrain the patient. The blood, there's blood on it. It looks like it was used as part of a weird experiment. And the telegram. Telegram warning about press interest in survivors brought to the sanatorium. The mine owners were trying to cover something up. Yeah, no shit. Right. How do I get out of here? Come on. 
Right, so that's me. I think I've got the clues that we're about. Oh no, please, please don't say I have to kill any of the, or the wolves are going to kill me, I mean. At least I've got machete and I can take him down with that, but I don't really want to kill him, but... I don't like the sound in this room. Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh, what? The fuck? Oh, oh, oh. Is this what he was feeding them? Oh, 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 yeah, fucker. Oh. Oh, this is the bit where I, oh, I'm gonna have to cut off my fingers. That was on one of the totems. Oh no, here comes a wolf. Come on, come on, you need to do it. Oh. Amputate fingers. Shit. Oh 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 shit. that fucking screechy violin music and shit oh right any other clues in here before I move on to the next bit nah just looked like that was it right so off to the next room uh oh no no. Oh, shit. Nicholas Bowen tagged. February 24th, 1952. Description. Attacked by inmate. Fatal lacerations to throat. So that was a doctor that was attacked. Well, oh my god. we got to open more of these and some of them may make noises. Fuck this. Oh no. Is there an actual body on this one? No. No, there isn't. Oh, thank god. Name of deceased Sarah Smith, date of death February 24th, 1952. I hereby certify I attended the deceased from March the 8th, 1951 to February 24th, 1952. And last saw her alive on February 24th, 1952. Cause of death, severe lacerations to the abdomen, intra-abdominal injuries, subsequent blood loss. If death was due to external uh, causes, violence, uh, fill in also the following. Accident... Suicide or homicide, homicide, manner of injury, laceration by sharp implants, possibly fingernails. Ugh. So someone scratched her to death. Additional notes, please use the box provided over leaf for any additional relevant information. Right, okay, so no I keep forgetting to to keep hold of R2. Turn it. Additional notes, body was not discovered until six to eight hours after death. Sections of the intestine and kidneys were apparently eaten by the attacker. Oh, So someone turned carnivore out of these guys that were in the 
Take me then. Oh no. Oh shit, there's a body on this one. Oh motherfucker, no. No. Oh, there's a. Is that a card? Is that a pass card, is it? Yes. To the chapel. Right, okay. okay. Let's check this out. Right, so. Is that has got everything from here? Oh no. There's something else there. What this the place just fuck? Gets better and better. What the fuck? Right, so we got the name tag. We got the small, strange skull. A disfigured human head suspended in formal formaldehyde. A hastily written death certificate dated 24th of February 1952. It describes the body as partially eaten. We're, star we're starting to rack up the clues on that one. 10 out of 27. Anything else to look on that one? What's up, Chatterbox? Hanging out? Too. Oh, I'd laugh if that thing started fucking moving. Well, I wouldn't laugh, I'd fucking shit myself, but it'd be quite a funny touch. Right, nothing else I don't think in here. Right, so chapel. Chapel security pass required. Oh, shit. Yeah, take that with you. Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh no, this is not a good idea. Right, so nothing else in here. Right, so is this gonna put me right beneath where he was with the dot with the wolves? Because I'm sure that was the. <laughs> oh motherfucker! This game is jumpy as fucking shit. Run, motherfucker, run! <laughs> So that's the exit I need to get to. Right. Right, just check that there's nothing else up here. Nah, nothing. Oh, nothing flashing other than that, which we've already seen. And we don't want to go the other way because that's where the wolf is. Where's this exit this guy went through? Oh shit, was that in the chapel? Have to go back in the chapel. Oh shit. Oh shit. Mm. <coughs> Certainly not a good idea doing this. Oh shit. I just kicked it. Oh shit. Uh, 
approach. That's a good boy. Come That's on. Right. Come on, it's okay. I'm not here to hurt you. Easy. Might not be quite grateful after I kicked it. Right, so it's not letting me go through that door, so I must have to find something to get it away from there. So, what have we here? Right, what about in there? Oh, there's a gun. Okay. Ah, oh, nice one. Nice. Any bullets? Right, so. Is there anything here to get the dog away from. Thing we oh. More clues. Clue found. Clippings on wall. Well thanks for watching another video of Until Dawn, and another video of me being scared shitless and almost having a heart attack. If you liked it, whoosh, high five the like button, and if you want to see more, be sure to smash that sub button. And last but not least, remember, life's a game, so play it well. See you in the next video.